In today's screencast, I am going to show you how to automatically archive orders in Shopify when they're delivered. So out of the box, you can have Shopify just automatically archive orders when they're fulfilled. But that just means they got marked for shipment. It does not mean anyone actually got their package. Well, that sounds like a job for Shopify Flow, which is Shopify's uh, free automation tool. It is available on most plans, not all, but most plans. And on those plans, it is uh, free to install and use. And we're going to walk through how you would set up this flow to just handle that. And it does some other nice things too. And first thing we got to do is install Shopify Flow. So just search for Flow. There it is, Shopify Flow. Let's add that app. Install app. First, we need to uh, find out when our package is delivered. And so Shopify Flow can't do that on its own. But what's cool about Flow is uh, Shopify apps can talk to it. So Shopify apps could trigger events that fire off flows. And there is a order status app that happens to be free, at least at the time of this recording, that'll do that for you. It's called uh, Track123. And I've got no affiliation to them. It's just a, an app we found that we liked. Uh, and so here, let's try this. Track123, there it is. Price free, great reviews. Uh, I don't know how long that's going to last, so get in while it's still free. Let's add that to our store. Install that guy. And this order status app is sweet. So here, I'll give you, I'll show you what that looks like. If I click order status on this site. This is running uh, track one, two, three. You can see it right up there. And then, so anyone uh, could put in their order number and their email and hit track. And then boom, it's going to tell them, it'll give them the order status. So you could really use this to preempt those like, well, hey, where's my stuff? Questions that you get from customers. Then, now, all right, we can create our workflow. So we're going to say create our workflow. And you have to start with a trigger. Like a, a Shopify flow workflow isn't just monitoring uh, isn't like well, I guess it is, but it's it an event has to occur that starts the automation. That's called the trigger. So we'll pick our trigger, and here they've got the Shopify triggers and then the installed app triggers. And in this store, I've only got the two apps. So uh, here we go. Track one, two, three. We're gonna refresh this. Oh, here we go. Connector updates available. Refresh list. Shipment status update. Boom. Got it. That's our trigger. Now what's this thing doing? Right? Aha, there it is. So let's give this a, a descriptive name. When delivered, tag and archive orders. Cool. Okay. Now, this shipment status update here, it says trigger when the shipment status changes. Doesn't say delivered, just says changes. So this will actually tell, be like, out for delivery, you know, lost in tra transit. Like, anytime it updates, this fires. And so we have to filter it. Otherwise, we don't know that it's been delivered. And so we're going to do uh, shipment status. And we're going to do then and condition. And so here you could do, like, if then. So we're going to say select condition. All conditions are met. Add criteria. And here it's got, like, these are the variables that we can use. You can have it look for the tracking number, the carrier, or the status. Status is what we want. And so we're going to say if status is equal to delivered. Yeah, good. And so it'll tell you, like, uh, the statuses are info received, in transit, out for delivery, delivered, exception, failed attempt, expired. So here we're just going to have it check, is the status equal to delivered? Excellent. So we got that far. So now, order status updates triggers this flow. We then check, is it delivered? If it's not delivered, it just quits. If it's anything other than delivered, it just stops. That's the end of it. And so we don't worry about it. Now we need to do another check. Because what if it's a, um, a partial shipment? Like there are situations where Someone orders two items, one is in stock, one is back ordered, and you're just going to ship them separately. And so we don't want to archive that whole order if we've got one item uh, has been delivered and another item still needs to be shipped, like a pre-order, back order, whatever it is. So now we're going to check 
the fulfillment status in Shopify. So same deal, just go if condition, all conditions are met, add criteria, and we're gonna say uh, order. And if you scroll, like you see there's tons of things you could pull about the order. Um, and if you type in search up there, it'll figure it out as well. But here we've got fulfillment status. Here we go. Fulfillment status that loads is equal to, and if it is uh, equal to partially fulfilled, boom. So that's what we're checking for. And so now that we got that far, here's where this could this could be a switch. It could be like then or otherwise. And so we're going to take care of the if an item is delivered, but our order is still partially fulfilled, then let's just do uh, an order tag. We're not going to archive the order, but we are going to tag it. And just for our reference, you know, like filtering in the Shopify admin, I like tags a lot. And so our tag is just going to be partially delivered add. There we go. And so there we now we've got the first part of our organization done. So now we got to do our otherwise. And in here, I probably don't need to check again, but I want to, like, I just want to make sure that I'm not accidentally archiving orders that shouldn't be archived. And so we're going to do uh, same thing again. We're going to check our fulfillment status. And you can actually do, like here, you can see what happens when we search. Does this work? Yeah, there it is. Search works. So there's a lot of options we could pick from. And so we'll add criteria. Well, I'm not sure what I did wrong there. All right, well, it's okay. We'll do it the old fashioned way by scrolling. All right, display fulfillment status is equal to fulfilled. There we go. And so now we're double checking. If we get this far, we know order's been delivered. It's not equal to partially fulfilled. And now we're checking it is marked fulfilled. So now we feel confident. So here we're going to add an action. And we're going to first remove tags. We could do this. Remove Remove order tags. There it is. And so once we get our, once this guy loads, we're going to have it remove that partially delivered tag. Because I don't want it tagging stuff delivered um, that is not, that's also marked partially delivered. It's going to get confusing. So we're just going to check and remove that this tag. Um, remove the following order tag partially delivered. Okay, great. And then... We're going to go ahead and add a new order tag. So we're going to say, oh, look at that, add order tag. And now we're just going to say delivered. Fabulous. We'll put that down here. It's kind of fun. You arrange these however you want. And then finally, now we could do the thing we set out to do, and that's archive the darn order. Archive order. Archive order. There you go. Whoops. Okay. Fantastic. We got this thing here. Looks good. Does everything we want. Now we're going to turn on the workflow. Fantastic. We click exit. And then if we scroll down, this recent activity thing is nice. This will give you a log of everything that this flow has done for you. And uh, what the, like, it gives you some idea. Like, it'll tell it if it took action, if it didn't take action. And so that's nice for troubleshooting. And that's how we, uh, using that was how I ended up having to add some of these other conditional scenarios. As I realized, like, you know, I set it up. It seemed too easy and too simple. I was like, oh, wait. What happens if it's partially fulfilled? Oh my gosh, this shipment status, it's firing any time a shipment update occurs. And so like with automation, you there's a shakedown period when you first implement it, where you got to 
uh, keep an eye on it, make sure it does what you want. But once you, you get past that and you get the hang of it, wow, so much save time and convenience. And so I, I love this one for just like keeping our admin clean and, and decluttered uh, and making, making life easy for ourselves and customer service representatives. But for sure, play with Shopify Flow. I love this thing as an automation tool. Check out those templates it's got. Uh, and if you're sick of hearing, where's my order? Try one of these order tracking apps. Like in this instance, we use Track123, but there, there's others um, like Ventoff Order Locator. Uh, uh, I think Aftership will do it. Like a whole bunch of them, but check it out. I hope that helps. Mm -hmm.